And hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. And I'm scared. I'm not kidding. The market crash is real. And we're not talking a small one. This is a big one. Sterling that we purchased for 1.3 million, we had to sell yesterday for a million coins. And no more than 12 hours later, he ain't budging for 920. Same with Kimmick, 1.3 purchase price. We could have sold last week when they brought out for birthday Sane for 1.4, and he's not selling for 1.1. This is a problem. We have lost a lot. Not just like 100,000 coins, we've lost a significant amount. So the road to Ronaldinho is at a halt. We're at the toll bridge, and we've got to pay to proceed. And it's what we do with these coins if we're going to be able to recover. So my idea, well, we've got only one option. We take the hit right now, we lose the coins, we accept that. We then use the 2 million left over and we put it into 87. So not, so not only do we have already 2 million coins invested, but we invest another 2 million and say, right, EA, we're in your hands and we're waiting until they release an SBC that's going to cause all of this stuff to skyrocket. And that will put us back on track. So with that being said... We are going to be doing an SBC in the meantime. We need to replace Team of the Year Kimmich and bring in quality for our starting 11. We've got two options. A Tour over Dell, Makaleli SBC, or we have Renato Sanchez. Those three. Take your pick. Now, I did like Makaleli. I thought he was absolutely superb uh, as a CDM, but we also already have Mateus. So I don't know which one's best to, to go for. Renato Sanchez obviously is going to offer the attacking threat, but Makaleli was just superb at the back. And what do we need right now? I don't know. You're going to see the Foot Champs highlights. I have a lot to speak about, but what was playing out on your screen were just uh, the leftovers, the five player picks that I decided to open. And then I'm done. I'm not spending any more coins on these, but to get like 285s and an 84 in form Lingard, that was pretty good. So if you are enjoying this series, by the way, Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go and check out the trade poll. I want to show you the team. Oh, dear. The team is a mess. But anyway, we've got Foot Champs highlights. And yeah, I'll tell you what's been going down. All right, let's move. So no word of a lie. We have lost over 700,000 coins, which is just mental. Like how many weekend leagues is that? God knows. And yesterday I was in the mood because not only was the weekend league... Not going to plan, let's just say. Like, I was throwing everything at it, and nothing seemed to stick. I tried the 5-3-2, the 5-2-1-2, the 4-3-1-2. I was literally using every single formation, and we found ourselves like 18-3 and at one point. And how has our weekend league gone? Let's go and find out. So I must admit, the matchmaking was pretty tough. And after we had reached 18-3, and it went downhill. And I was looking at the record, and it was flattering. I admittedly said, like, if we continue performing like this, we're going to get exposed. And that's exactly what happened. So flat in the 4-4-2. No creativity. Just nothing. And I can't believe, like, two weekend leagues or three weekend leagues ago, we were using the same formation, pretty much the same tactics, and we reached uh, 23 wins with three games spare. The weekend before that, we had 23 wins with two games spare, and I saw progression. I thought, damn, we're onto something here. We've made improvements. We're looking good. And now, two steps forward, one step back. And we haven't even got a lead. We finished on, well, 21 wins with one game spare, so technically we could have got 22 wins, but we didn't. We didn't get 22 wins. We got 21 wins, which is just an absolute embarrassment. So, where have we gone wrong? And we need to look at ourselves and the way we've been playing on the game. It's not good enough. Uh, we came up against a really good opponent. Someone said that he finished like top 100 monthly and he was exceptional with his uh, skill cancels, um, skill combos. It, it just showed me that we're just not good enough. Like, playing against someone like that, it really does confirm that although a lot of people like to say that, oh, there's no skill gap in the game, a lot of rebounds and stuff go against or go for people. Yeah, okay, I admit that. Like sometimes in matches, the person that deserves to win doesn't. But when I came up against someone that is true quality, there was nothing. There, there was no like comparison there. Like I'm just genuinely like upset with how um, uh, uh, we've we've performed, and I don't know. We've like kind of dropped off with with uh, how we're playing. So I'm gonna try my best. I'm, I'm gonna try and get these uh, skill cancels into my game a little bit more because that's where we're lacking creativity. Like around the edge of the box. All right, everyone's gonna be parking the bus, but it's what you do to be able to get get by it. 
And I think if we can get that into our game and try and learn some combos and just improve our, our, our attacking play, then, well, we know we're a little bit dodgy at the back sometimes, or most of the time. We'll be able to get goals and we'll be able to just outscore our opponents. But yeah, speaking of the defense, like, I don't know, man. I, it, I don't know where to start. I genuinely don't know where to start. Some games we're really good. Other games, it's just losing shape. Um, I tried the 4-4-2 with the two CDMs, but I think that took a, a little bit away from our attack. And that's maybe why I felt a little bit restricted this weekend, because we gave, yeah, the two CDM formation a go. Then I switched to the 4-4-2 um, flat. Maybe we saw a little bit of form here or there. I don't know. And then as I started taking some more losses, I was like, well, what are we going to do, boys? Should I go and try the five at the back and, and sweat it out? We, we won our first game with it, and then we lost our second. And that was the last three matches that, that I played. Like, I, I even tried five at the back. Like, you know, things aren't going your way when you're trying to get get that meta formation in. Like, I don't know. I, I didn't really like it that much. So going forward, I, I did give you an option. We have an SBC to go and complete. It is it's, it's like literally a no-brainer for us right now. Because if we spend any coins, it's just pointless. We may as well put the coins towards making some, which is what I plan to do. But we have a ton of high-rated cards. We've got random what-if players that we don't use. We've got, like, foot birthday players that we can submit. We've got enough to do a pretty big SBC. So, Makaleli, Renato Sanchez, Arturo Vidal. Which one of those players are really going to step up and help our starting 11? What do we, what, what, what will we benefit from? A Renato Sanchez? Maybe, because we have got rid of Kimmich, but I, I don't know, like, I, I wanted to get rid of Mateus. I, I know it's kind of crazy. Mateus has been, like, one of our best performing players, and he is good. He is good card. But I was hoping to bring in someone, like, similar to that, but just, like, in general, like, better on the ball and just a little bit more, like, natural, because I, I don't feel like we've been really given the opportunity to, like, build like a proper side this year like on the rtg and just go for something like really overpowering like i don't know maybe i'm just looking for excuses honestly like is, the, is my team good enough to get results probably but just the way i feel on, on the game i would love to be able to bring in like some decent icons and and properly put together a side that is just so overpowering and suited to how i want to play the game because Mateus, I always say it, like, he's great, but he's not perfect on the ball. And it's a little bit awkward when he does push on and you're getting closed down and you just want that extra little something. We haven't been able to find that Timo de Jong replacement this year. But maybe Renato Sanchez is that kind of player. Or maybe, like, bringing in Makaleli and just helping the defense a bit more. Because I swear, when, when we did use the lone version, he was exceptional. I don't know if we played him alongside uh, Timo de Kimmich or we were using him alongside Mateus, but I felt like pretty secure with that. Uh, a player that I did bring back though for the last few games, which was Laurent Blanc. And admittedly, he actually had a good game when I played five at the back. So he was like right bang in the middle. He wasn't really doing that much, but he was just standing strong and he was getting tackles in. Soon as the balls went in behind and I was getting caught on counters, that's when I noticed he was getting a bit exposed. But we've just got to improve our all round game and it's got to the point where I'm starting to get pretty angry and it's not to do with the results necessarily or like it's not really yeah down to the games themselves it's more like my ability I'm getting annoyed with how I'm playing as well as losing coins on the game like I'm just stressing out I need to just like I literally just need to chill and just accept that all right one we've lost coins two we're not playing very well and let's build up that's what the point of the RTG is about. It's to, it's to build back and it's to rebound. And anything's possible. Like, I haven't completely lost my ability on the game. But it's... Uh, we're not doing good enough. All right? So, I think this week I'm going to be putting in some more hours, like game time. Um, try and look at some tutorials. Genuinely. I'm not even kidding. I'm going to look at some tutorials and see how um, we can improve our attack with the whole skill cancel on that. And then at the back... I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a have a play with the custom tactics as well. I just can't seem to grasp the defending. I don't know what's happened. Like I wasn't having this issue like two weeks, three weeks ago. I was defending pretty well in the 4-4-2. Go back to that now, and I've got gaps this large. Like I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, some of our goals were okay. Uh, Ronaldo. Ah, uh, do you know what? Right, Ronaldo annoyed me. Not gonna lie. 
this weekend, okay, he scored a couple of goals, but he did miss some huge chances in the games. And again, it's probably me looking for excuses, but in these matches, it was the first chance. And I, 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 I'm gonna say like, if you score a goal, it's not a guarantee that you're gonna come away with a result, but it really does change like, sort of the outcome of how the game is gonna go. Your opponent's gonna ch change something. He's gonna make, uh, yeah, some uh, tactical switch ups. Uh, he's gonna start pushing. He's gonna rush his play because he thinks he's gonna end up losing the game. And you can kind of play on that a little bit and it might create a chance. But Ronaldo's scuffing a lot and it wasn't just him, it was, uh, I don't know, it was some other player in our starting 11. We just couldn't get those early goals this weekend, really. But I, I just took way too many losses. Like, from 18-3 and three to choking Elite 3, <laughs> lol. That is pretty bad. But you can just see, like, the lack of quality in the defense. You know, it's it, I don't need to tell you, you can see it. We're all over the place. So, we just need an all-round improvement with how we're performing. And then we're going to bounce back. And I'm not going to give up. We're going to keep pushing. And hopefully we can make a ton of coins with uh, what I have in mind. And then the SBC gets unlocked tomorrow. But who is it going to be? And that's why I need you guys to let me know who you believe is going to be best for our starting 11. And if we go and have a look at it right now, formation-wise, um, the opponent that was... like Obviously, you shouldn't go off of what opponents are using and what's working for them. But one of like the better players that I faced was used in just the standard flat 4-4-2. So I think that with the success that we saw um, with it, like three weekend leagues ago, four weekend leagues ago, I'm, I'm probably going to be returning to that and just keep it nice and basic, nice and compact, bring people in and uh, go from there. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. We've got a lot of things to do. Uh, I'm going to even unlock the Essentio objective card. It might be good enough for us to use. And that's what we're going to start doing from now on. We're going to get use out of untradeables. And we're not going to uh, sort of play into EA's hands and start losing even more coins. It's just pathetic, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely embarrassed that we've uh, fallen into EA's trap and we've lost like 700,000 coins. I feel disgusting. I, like, I hate it so much and I'm in a mood because of it. Um, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching and we go from there. Team out. Peace.